Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do yoga to relieve stress and tension, mostly in the upper body, and then we're going to do a few hip stretches too. So all you need is yourself and your mat. So roll out your mat and meet me in easy seat. So we're going to start in easy seat. So with our legs crossed, reach back and grab your butt and lift the fat of your butt up and then sit back onto those sits bones. Suck the tummy in, inhale the shoulders up, and then exhale, rolling them down and back. Slight tuck of the chin so that the ears are right over the shoulders. And we're gonna go ahead and start with five breaths here, just to align our posture and to set our intention. So five breaths, nice and slow. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. One more breath. And then either keeping the eyes closed or fluttering them open, you're gonna tuck the chin and inhale your head over to the right. And exhale to center. Inhale to the left. And exhale to center. Continue like that four more times. And one more time. Bring the head to neutral. And then you're going to drop the head back so that you open up through the throat. And we're going to do the same thing, inhaling to one side and then exhaling to center five times. And once you finish five times, you're going to take a couple total circles, two times in one direction, and then two times the other direction. Find neutral. Then we're going to place our hands on our knees. And you're going to inhale, arching the back, sticking the tummy out, opening the throat, and then exhale, curve the back, kind of like seated cat and cows, five times on your own. One more time. Find neutral, and then we're gonna be taking circles with our back, getting your head, neck, and shoulders into it. Three to four times one direction, and then go the other way. <clears throat> and 
and find neutral. Inhale your arms up and exhale. You're going to twist to the right, taking the right hand behind the back, left hand to knee, and we're going to stay right here for three breaths. Inhale to center, and then exhale to the other side. Three breaths here. <clears throat> Inhale to the center, and then exhale to the right. And now we're going to keep it moving. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. And exhale to the right. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left. Inhale to center. And then meet me in tabletop position. So we're stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And we're gonna start with some cat and cow. So inhale, dropping the belly, sending the head and the hips high. Exhale, curve the back like a Halloween cat. Three more on your own. Come to neutral and then we're going to do those barrel rolls so two times one way and then switch and go the other direction meet me in neutral and now we're going to be making some big circles with our hips so swing your hips over to the right Take them down and back towards your heels, and then up through the left, coming towards the front of your mat for a little upward dog, and then back around again. And now switch directions. And then we're going to bring our big toes together, taking our knees wide apart and sending our booty back to the heels for child's pose, wide leg child's pose. Either forehead or chin to the mat, reaching those fingertips towards the front of your mat. Maybe bending the elbows and clasping the hands behind the back for an extra tricep stretch. We're going to spend about five more breaths here. If you have the elbows bent, go ahead and straighten them. And now we're going to walk our hands over towards the left side, stacking the hands on top of one another, bringing the ear towards the right shoulder, breathing into the right side body. Three breaths here.
And now walk your hands over to the right. Three breaths. Coming back to center, and now we're going to thread the needle, sending the right hand underneath of the left armpit, palm facing up, bringing the right ear to the mat, breathing into that right shoulder for three breaths. And now switch sides. Coming back to center. And then working your way back up to tabletop. <clears throat> you're going to take that right leg and just step it between the hands, coming up for a low lunge. Maybe taking a twist. in the twist, come back to center, bring the fingertips to the mat, and then send your hips back for a half split stretch. You can keep the toe pointed or flexed here. You can stay up on those fingertips or fold deeper for a deeper hamstring and calf stretch. Three breaths here. Coming forward again, bending that right knee, and you're going to take your favorite variation of lizard pose. Three breaths here. to heel toe that right leg over to the left side and coming down into pigeon pose and we're going to spend about 10 breaths here in pigeon pose taking whatever variation or moving through several variations that you so choose forward in pigeon pose, I like to do a thread the needle, threading opposite shoulders. So I'm going to take left arm under right armpit, palm side facing up, walking those right fingertips as far forward as I can, coming down onto that left shoulder and left cheekbone. Get a nice dynamic stretch here by stretching opposite hip and shoulder. Be 
beginning to work your way back up. And then maneuvering yourself back to tabletop. And we're going to switch legs. So take that left leg, step it between the hands. We're going to do that same sequence. So your favorite variation of low lunge, three breaths. And then coming back to center and finding half split. Three breaths here. And then turning your half split into your favorite variation of lizard pose. Mine usually involves a twist. And working your way to your favorite variation or variations of pigeon pose, 10 breaths. Maybe taking that thread the needle forward fold variation for a little extra shoulder stretch. Getting to work your way back up to tabletop one more time. Tuck the toes under, bring the knees together, and sit back onto the heels for toe pose. Sit up nice and tall, grounding down through the hips, sucking the belly in, chin tucked, growing tall through the crown of the head. Inhale the arms up into a T position, and then exhale, we're going to take eagle arms. Inhale to come out of the twist, and exhale opposite side. Inhale, coming out of that twist, bring your fingertips to the mat, tuck those toes, sit back onto your heels again for a lightning bolt pose, and then option to reach the fingertips towards the back of your mat and lift up the knees for a stretch on the front of those ankles. Three breaths. Awesome job. We're going to go ahead and unfold those legs, taking the feet towards the front of the mat for seated staff pose. One last little hamstring stretch here. So micro bend in the knees, flex the thighs, feet active, and fold forward to your depth. 
five breaths. It's a great stretch for the lower back, the hamstrings, the calves. With every breath growing longer and taller, with every exhale folding deeper. Slowly come up. Scoot your butt forward, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. Hugging the knees, and let's do a couple back rolls. Give your back a little massage. And then maybe finding yourself in plow pose. Three breaths here. Option to stay here or option to take shoulder stand, pointing the toes towards the ceiling and then maybe bicycling those legs out. This is great for your circulation. Getting the feet above the heart is always great. And then slowly making your way down. <clears throat> Gonna do one last little twist here. Put your weight into your shoulders and your feet. Pick your hips up and send your hips over to the right. And then cross your right leg over your left. And you're gonna let the knees fall over to the left. Taking the hands out in a T position. Trying to keep both shoulders on the mat, pressing into the back of the hands, gaze over the right shoulder. Three breaths here. Using your core, inhale everything back to the center and then switch sides. Three more breaths. Using your core again, inhaling everything back to center, uncross the legs. We're going to take our final pose, corpse pose or savasana. Straighten the legs, take the heels out as wide as the mat, those shoulder blades underneath of you, arms down by the side, palms facing up. We're just going to take a few breaths here just to relax everything, scanning the body for any tension. Relaxing the jaw, releasing the tongue off the roof of the mouth. <coughs> Starting at your big toe and working your way up. Relax everything, just melt into your mat. Spending about 10 breaths here in Savasana. This is where I will leave you. Stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, you'll slowly begin to wiggle those fingers and toes and bring movement back to the body. Thank you for joining me on this relaxing yoga stretch. Namaste.